Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics and we're here to review the 10 Mars RF 3-axis field strength meter and this model is TM196. Now I've had this for over a year now and I'm relatively happy with it but there are a couple of bugs built into this meter. Certainly the two that I've had because my first meter went faulty within the first month and it was replaced by the seller under their warranty and this is the second meter and the second meter has behaved relatively well during the year that I've owned it now but the bugs that it shows are when you first turn it on occasionally it'll turn on reading a value that is too high and you can get rid of that value by power cycling the meter and then it starts working fine and the other thing I've seen it do is it will get locked into a high reading and again you can clear that high reading by power cycling the meter but for the majority of the time it actually behaves itself and it does actually appear to read accurately for the area and the other problem that I've noticed with it is it tends to go through batteries relatively quickly so it runs on a 9 volt alkaline battery and that battery will last approximately about two hours in my meter. So you have to be comfortable with buying a lot of alkaline batteries for when using this meter. And the other thing that came to light was when my meter went faulty, I looked through the documentation that was supplied with it. This is the calibration certificate and this is the manual and there's no mention of a warranty. So I have no idea what 10 Mars warranty is for this meter. But what I can tell you is uh, I purchased it from a seller who offered a warranty for the first few weeks of the meters that they sold and I had my meter changed out under the warranty. So I would be careful with who you buy this meter from because I'm not too sure what 10 Mars warranty is. So you might want to buy it from somebody who offers their own warranty on the meters that they're selling. So I'm relatively happy with the meter. It tends to work the, well the majority of the time that I use it. I rarely see it give errors and those errors are easily fixed by power cycling the unit. So uh, I paid about $350 for this meter when I purchased it about a year ago and it's probably the cheapest three axis meter that you can get with this level of frequency range on it. it goes up to 8 gigahertz and the next nearest meter that I was looking at was about $500 and there's another comparable meter available for about $600 so the competition is a little bit more expensive so my advice to you is if you're considering this meter is just be aware that uh, it can be a little bit of a buggy meter but certainly in my experience the majority of the time it performs well Hope you enjoyed the review and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.